And you know the uh, classic interview with Tupac Shakur when they offered him the role of a Muslim gangster and they offered him $100,000. He said, I refuse. These were his words to the T. What did he say? I refuse to play a role that does not exist. There's no such thing as a Muslim gangster. That's what he said. The man that was idolized up until maybe just 10 or 20 years ago. There's no such thing as a Muslim gangster. Then what do you do as Ali, as Ahmed, as Khalid? You say, no, no, there is. Watch me. I can do it. And we go groveling at their feet and showing them that we can be like them and we can be better than them. And now they are using Urdu. They are using Arabic in their rap. And you guys know what I'm talking about. What happened? That is nothing. That is nothing to do with being real. That's sheep. That is sheep. That's blind imitation. That's an identity crisis. And that is the promise of Allah who said, وَلَا تَكُونُوا كَالَّذِينَ نَسُوا اللَّهَ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ أَنْفُسَهُمْ Don't be those people who, for, like, don't be those people who forgot Allah so Allah made them forget themselves. You don't know who you are anymore. So you try to search for your identity on the road. That is not real, that is being an imitator and that is degrading and you are above that. Because as a Muslim, you don't lack identity, you don't lack heritage, you don't lack uncles. Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Hudayfa, Khalid, these are your uncles, these are your, this is your heritage. I understand why they behave like that, they have no heritage, no identity. But you, what are you doing? 